Welcome to a lesson on order of operations involving fractions. Let's go ahead and review the four steps to the order of operations. Step one, we're always going to simplify within the innermost parentheses or grouping symbols. Step two, we're going to simplify all expressions with exponents. Step three, we will multiply and divide from left to right. And then step four, we'll add and subtract from left to right. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Notice on this first example, everything is division, so we'll work our way from left to right. So we'll first simplify 12 divided by 6. Well, 12 divided by 6 would be equal to 2. So now we have 2 divided by 5. And since most of these problems involve fractions, instead of converting 2 divided by 5 into a decimal, we'll go ahead and just express that as a fraction. 2 divided by 5 is the same as 2 fifths. Remember, a fraction bar represents division. Notice in this example, we have both multiplication and division. And since they do have the same priority, we'll go ahead and just work our way from left to right. So we'll first multiply 7 tenths and 2 fifths. But before we do that, we should try to simplify. Notice that we do have a common factor of 2 here. So we'll go ahead and simplify this. There's 1, 2, and 2, and there are 5 2's in 10. So this first product is going to be 7 times 1, that'll be 7, over 5 times 5, that's 25, divided by 2 thirds. What we're going to do now, though, is convert this division problem to a multiplication problem. So we'll go ahead and rewrite this as 7 25ths times 3 halves. And again, nothing simplifies here, so we're going to go ahead and multiply across the top and bottom. 7 times 3 is 21. 25 times 2 is 50. And that would be our answer. Let's go ahead and take a look at a couple more. Remember, the first step in the order of operations is to perform the operations inside the parentheses. So we're going to go ahead and find the sum of these two fractions first. Let's go ahead and write this out so we have a little more room. And we do have to obtain a common denominator here. If we have a denominator of 2 and a denominator of 5, our LCD, or least common denominator, will be 10. So we're going to go ahead and multiply this first fraction by 5 over 5. Multiply this second fraction by 2 over 2. Notice we now have a common denominator of 10. So this would be 5 tenths plus 4 tenths. So the sum is going to be 9 tenths. So let's go ahead and rewrite this again. And again, this would be 9 tenths. Next, in the order of operations, we need to multiply and divide before we add or subtract. So now we're going to find this product here. And again, before we do that, let's go ahead and simplify. Notice we have a 3 and a 9 here. There's 1, 3, and 3, and 3, 3's and 9. And these two have a common factor of 2. There's 1, 2, and 2, and 5, 2's, and 10. So this simplifies to 3 fourths minus, this would be 3 fifths. And now we need to find another common denominator. The LCD for 4 and 5 would be 20. So now we'll multiply this by 5 over 5. That'll give us 20 here. Multiply this fraction by 4 over 4 to give us 20 here. This is going to give us 15 twentieths minus 12 twentieths. So we have our common denominator. It's going to stay 20. And then we have 15 minus 12. That would give us 3. So all of this simplifies to 3 twentieths. Let's go and take a look at one more. Here we have 2 thirds squared minus 1 third times 1 and 1 fourth. So the first thing we need to do is simplify our exponents. Well, 2 thirds squared means 2 thirds times 2 thirds. That'll give us 4 ninths. So this becomes 4 ninths minus 1 third times 1 and 1 fourth. 
we know we can't multiply mixed numbers. We have to convert these to improper fractions. So if we convert this to an improper fraction, we'd have four times one plus one, that'll be five fourths. Now we have subtraction here and multiplication here. And we are supposed to multiply or divide before we add or subtract. So now we'll go ahead and multiply one third and five fourths. Notice nothing simplifies here. So we can go ahead and multiply across the top and bottom. That's gonna give us four ninths minus, this would be five twelfths. And then lastly, to subtract these fractions, we do have to have a common denominator. The least common multiple of nine and 12 would be 36. So multiply this fraction by four over four, multiply this fraction by three over three. So it'll give us 1636 minus 1536. Notice we have our common denominator. Denominator is going to stay the same. And then we just subtract the numerators. 16 minus 15 would, of course, be 1. So all of this simplifies to 1 over 36. And that's going to do it for this video. I hope you found these examples helpful. Thank you for watching.